Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is that side character, Chapter 41, and this one is titled Support Yin. Thankfully, though, your boyfriend did hear you that time and poked his head out at the back door. He was wondering if he'd been hearing things, since it was late now and the sun had set and you were supposed to be at work. He saw you on the ground in his backyard and ran over to you. What happened? He asked as he crouched down in front of you, his concerned feline eyes searching your face for answers. They took Emma! You sobbed. What? They, they took Emma! They took him away from me! You wailed. But, but I'm here. I... The cat at the shelter! <laughs> My Gemma! You explained through heart-wrenching sobs. Oh, he said softly, remembering that you had named one of the cats there Kenma. I want to stay with you. You sobbed. He didn't know what else to do, so he just nodded and helped you up and then took you into the house and up into his room. You were crying and retelling the story of the horrible people and he just listened to everything that you had to say. To be honest, he couldn't get a word in sideways, so it was kind of easy to just let you cry and talk anyway. You rambled for close to an hour. Half the things you were saying weren't even making sense, but Kenma didn't interrupt you or tell you that you were being silly. He just let you talk. Honestly, half the time, he was thinking about his game and so was zoning in and out of what you were saying, but just having him there was a comfort of its own, so you didn't care that he hadn't really said anything. I don't know what to say, he finally said, once you'd gotten it all out of your system and stopped talking. You nodded and sniffed heavily. <laughs> Sorry, I should just go. You said sadly, no, it's okay, stay, he said, stopping you from getting up. You don't need to go. Can I have a hug? You asked with a quivering bottom lip, and he nodded and opened his arms. You fell into him and cried some more while he held you. He was so warm, it was comforting. After all of that emotional stress was out of your body, you felt pretty tired and yawned loudly. I'm tired, you mumbled into him. Um, is your dad home? Kenma asked you. You shook your head against him. No, he's out of town for the rest of this week. Stay here, Kenma said. My mum just left for night shifts, so she won't be home until tomorrow morning. Really? It's okay if I stay? You asked, pulling back to look at him. He nodded again, gazing at your blotchy, tear-stained face with a softness in his eye. Um, okay, thank you. I don't want to be at home by my own anyway, you said. You can put my clothes on. He said, do you want a shower? Go and have a shower and then you can wear my clothes. Um, okay, you said, brightening a little as you got up. Back at work, Lolita was just finishing up and pulled her phone from her pocket to look at it. She was feeling really bad about what happened earlier and she was challenging herself as to whether or not she'd done the right thing. Uh, should I have not let them take him? She wondered as she carried her phone with her and checked the locks on all the doors and then did one last round of all the animals. It hurt when she passed cage number four and saw it was empty. She knew how much you loved all the animals there, and she also understood how hard it was to work there and watch your favourites get adopted out. Oh, maybe I should just call Yin to make sure she's okay. She dialed your number and put the phone to her ear, but you didn't pick up so she sighed and sent you a message instead, low-key concerned that you were avoiding her and blaming her for this. I know she isn't happy with me because I didn't stop them, but I'm trying to do the right thing for Felix. I mean, Kemma. After your soul-replenishing shower, you got out and wrapped a towel around yourself and then walked back to Kemma's room to get some clothes. He was sitting on his bed, as usual, and looked up as you entered the room, then immediately looked away when you arrived only in a towel. Oh! You suddenly gasped when you realised that you had walked in in a towel. Poor Kenma was trying to look anywhere else except at you, and you were panicking at the door not knowing what to do next. Um, clothes. Clothes? You asked. Oh, right. He said softly as he got off the bed and crouched at his drawers to pull clothes out for you. Kenma was taller than you, and really slim, so you were wondering how the clothes would work for you, but turns out they were so comfy and so warm and so oversized that there was no need for concern. They were so perfect that it made your heart swell with delight. I think I'm happier now. You said once you'd come back into the room with his clothes on. These are so comfy and they smell like you. You cupped your jumper-covered hands to your nose and inhaled deeply while Kenma looked on with confusion. Okay, done with sniffing, you announced. Where's my phone? You got it out of your bag and saw that Lolita had tried to call you and that she'd sent you a message and you stopped to read it. It was lovely that she'd even bothered to ask if you were okay, and although you felt like she'd gone against you with the whole Kenma Felix thing, you couldn't help but feel like she did genuinely care about your feelings. 
You replied to her so that she wouldn't think you were ignoring her and told her that you were with your Kenma, your boyfriend Kenma, and it was okay. Then you put your phone down and crawled up onto the bed next to your man. He was still trying to pass the next boss and he lost again, so he grunted and waited for the game to reboot. Did you need me to press buttons? You asked him, looking over his arm to the screen. Um, I'll just do this one. He mumbled, focusing on what he was doing. He had almost gotten the monster in the last round, so he was pretty sure he could get it this time. And sure enough, he did. You cheered happily as monster defeated sign came flashing up on the screen and grinned up at him. You did it, you said proudly to him. And there is the end of chapter 41. Stay tuned for chapter 42 coming tomorrow.